The thing about writing is that I'm a lot longer not writing than I am writing. I'm a lot longer not writing about the thoughts that headbang around the dark vortexes of my brain. Thoughts don't fade, they fossilize, awaiting opportunities to liquefy and creepy crawl their way back through the edges of time. Every so often a juncture in life occurs, this time grasping the serendipity through the meeting of a small circle of women and that collective energy, I've been privileged to feel I could ease the portal open and let those thoughts better fizzle into the words that I'm about to read. To become familiar with the brightness, you need to jostle with the shadows. A huge thank you to Felicia and all the inspiring women who have juxtaposed with support and unbiased through this project. The words that I read are the headbanger thoughts teased and now my metal heavy has lightened. These words are my stories. A piece about a time when I felt scared. Blame game. The look of shame, the blame game, they're gone. Threading concrete, a lost stream, a guttural scream, they're gone. Pleading to a universe to reverse monumental imploding hearse, they're gone. Shadows of a night, not destined to burn bright, they're gone. All alone, tumultuous groan, they're gone. A piece about safety. Yield. Stop running. There's nowhere left to hide. You're skidding down roads that veer the wrong way. What is safety? A word, a feeling, a way to describe? Not reach that destination, but walking you might one day. The next two pieces are about female family traditions passed on. Hide your shame. Cover yourself up, hide your shame. What's the aim of the game? Give, 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 give more, give out. Shout, shout, let it all out. All behind closed doors, then give more. No time for the toys, all jobs for the girls, not the boys. Money for old ropes, scapegoat. But for the boys full of joys, we become the toys, seeing through our ears for years, gratuitous talk ploys. Silence the talk. Time's come for the walk of not hiding your shame. Breathe, bask, bathe in the power of this rightful change of game. Resurrection. The pain and the shame keeps the chains around the brain locked up, fear. The fear of the years spent holding back tears. Don't weep. Won't weep for the sake. If it's cracked as a break, splinter around. Driven down to the ground without sound to be rhetorically bound. No, here you are. This is I. This I did I die while ousting the lie, executed and now set free. Here's me, I am free, in this space long to be, resurrected in due liberty. The next two pieces are about my disconnection from some of my community, both online and offline. Home truths. One house or two, is it your cup of tea? Not for me. In this translucent weaved world, is it how it's to be? A gaff on your gaff, putting long pockets on the map, for others the trap. And money's too tight to mention, can't retend your attention on extending your extension. This newfound pretension. Balls in their walls. Their words side winding down dreary tunnels of your brain. Here they go round and round, whirly gig circles, drone sound, it's the same. Wanna be in my gang, my gang. Big bangers to their dogs for the sake of the dogmatic clang and their faithless bang. Sunday's best disambiguation to make you feel like you don't belong. No peep from the little lost sheep, no interceptions, just preconceptions. Putting the stereo in their type of anachronous song to be sang. Ah, you'd have to give it to them, they've got balls. Scolding, moulding, their incessant need to protect and erect those fraudulent walls all the while deliberately exercising and maximising the ostracising. 
put downs in conversation. No acceptance for difference, just ticks for their clicks in the highfalutin clicky game that they play. Replication of the magnification of you, but the things you hold so dear, sold on so cheap, the price runs deep. Gut ripped through your soul, infinite agonised hole. Tad awkward situation. Awkward, the sword forged by the superior to lacerate, penetrate, going above and beyond all, not for their inferior. Absurd. Dimness. Empty in the gloom. Tidal waves of rejection rise and my bowels of dejection left to float on the sea of me to wash up from the oppressors of society. The silent bully with the ideology. Maestro of the renegade. We'll tear down your boulders made from the chips from your shoulders, sister subjugate. Time itself is fleeting, so to wander with and squander it, lost in the competing, means no connection to each other, nothingness, no minds of the meeting. Moral consciousness evolving is the rock we want to be rocking, clocking our sanity for the sake of the progress of humanity, not the prohibitive suffocating beckon. Arouse, and no more being the rift in the rifting. Admiring, aspiring to be the shift in the shifting. A sense of romance to the stance of the explorative awakening dance, uplifting. To finish these short pieces in acknowledgement of the small circle of women I love and ever appreciate after chatting about ourselves lost and found. The miraculous circle of women and their wondrous idiosyncrasies fill and connect a fantastical rhythm of nobility within me.